Hi, I'm Cameron, a professional potter, and I'm here today to teach you how to make a vase. So we've got two options here, we've got a pinched vase and a slab built vase. We cover pinched pots in another episode, so let's take a look at building a slab built vessel. Woo! So we'll start out by kneading the clay. So what I'm doing here is called ram's head kneading. So you can see the idea is that effectively we're left with a ram's head as we're compressing the clay. So I'm rolling it back towards itself and then I'm pushing it forwards and applying pressure with the flats of my hands. So now we're going to roll out the base. Uh, you can either do this on the table or I'm going to use the plastic that came in the clay bag. We'll just grab our rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, use a wine bottle, anything flat, circular. Okay, so we got it nice and compressed. It's about half a centimetre in thickness, which is perfect. And then I'll just use the needle tool to cut through the clay. So now let's roll out the walls. So I'm leaving the slab a little thicker this time so that we can do some surface decoration once it dries a little more. Next, I'm gonna cut a straight edge, which is gonna form the base of the vase. So I'm just gonna start scoring the piece where the two pieces of clay are gonna connect. I'm using the needle tool for this, but you can use any sharp implement. The hatching increases the surface area, so don't be too shy, you can't really overdo this part. And then I'm gonna do the same for where the slab attaches to the base. And then we introduce our number one friend, the slip. So the slip is just going to act as a glue, helping to combine the two pieces and moisturise the clay slightly. And then I'm going to place the slab onto the base. I'd say that looks pretty good. The other point I'm going to slip and score is where the attachment happens. So now I'm just working in all the joins, using the rounded end of the tool, and just bringing everything together so it sticks nicely. And then I'll do the same for the outside edge. I'm just using the metal rib here because we can curve it and it'll give us a nice round edge as I bring it up the piece. So now we've compressed all the joints, we've basically got our finished vase form. So I'm just going to use a little bit of water to smooth off these rims and get rid of any of the worst cracks. And then we can use the loop tool just to trim off the top of the edge and get a nice finish. So there you have it, we've got our cylindrical vase form. This is the perfect blank canvas for painting or decorating, or if you'd like to follow along and see how I'd approach it, we're gonna let it dry for a couple of hours and we'll come back and carve it and paint it. So now it's dried for a couple of hours, it's time to decorate it. I'm gonna carve it using the loop tool and the ribbon tool. We're aiming to end up with a texture, something like this. So the clay is still a bit soft, so I'm protecting it from the inside to stop any distortion. But if you let it dry a little longer, then it should be tough enough that you can handle it without too much difficulty. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks. If you'd like to continue all the way down, you're of course welcome to. But I like this sort of organic finish here. I think that's going to look great once it's painted. So we're going to let that dry for two or three days, and then we'll come back and apply some acrylic. The other thing to note is, don't waste this. This is great for turning into slip. Just add a little bit of water and then you can use that for any attachment. So the acrylic not only adds colour to the piece, it's also going to add a bit of water resistance and just help the clay stay together. So you want to make sure you're doing this on a perfectly dry piece. You can tell that because it's turned white rather than grey. What I'm going to do is just do a very light coat. So acrylic should dry quite quickly. In theory on this piece it should dry near enough instantly, but just be careful, don't touch it too much and try not to get it on your clothes. 